Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to do your first shoe fitting using dialed in motion running. Dialed in motion running is a very easy to use application that's designed specifically for shoe retail. The key points that will be covered in this tutorial are starting the software, entering customer data, capturing or loading running videos, analyzing those videos, comparing the results from different shoes, making a shoe recommendation based on these results and then giving the customer a personalized report. Before you get underway you must make sure the software is installed and registered. You can find more information on registering in the manual which you can download from the support section of dialdemotion.com. If you have your hardware set up correctly and the software is installed and registered you're now ready to go. To start Dialed in Motion running double click on the desktop icon or go to the Windows Start button and then the Programs area and find the Dialed in Motion running folder and then double click on the application to start it. The first step in the shoe fitting process is to enter the customer's data. The first screen you see when you open the software is the customer area. In this area you can enter your name, the customer's name or search for previous customers. To add names to the pull down list right click here and select Edit. Once you've added your staff names to the list, they'll always be available for quick selection. If you don't want to enter any name, press the anonymous button. Of course you'll not be able to create a personalized report or retrieve any of their information if you choose this option. To enter the customer's data, just click on the Add Customer button and fill in the form. It's a good policy to fill in all the boxes as it gives you more information to follow up with the customer at a later date. It only takes about 30 seconds to do all this and is well worthwhile. And then press the accept button to finish. The next step is to capture or load some running videos. You get to the capture area by pressing the capture tab on the left of the screen. Before you capture or import the first shoe, enter its details by selecting them from the pull down menus. Now just press the capture button to start recording and the same button to stop recording. You can practice using the software without a camera connected, so if you don't have a mini DV camera just yet, we've provided treadmill running videos for you to practice with. You can find them at the support section of the dialdemotion.com website. Once you've downloaded the files you want to practice with, just press the load button instead of the capture button. Find and load these newly downloaded files and you're ready to go. The next step is to analyze these videos. You get to the analyze area by pressing the analyze tab on the left of the screen. The analyze screen is broken into three important parts of the running cycle, namely foot contact, mid stance and toe off. This is done for the left and right feet, giving six thumbnail placeholders around the outside of the video clip. Now move your video clip to the first of these points by using the video slide controller and then repeatedly press the arrow keys on the keyboard for fine tuning. Be careful not to hold the arrow key down as this can cause freezes in the playback. Next, you can add drawings to the video or take measurements off it. The drawings and measurements will be saved in the images that are used in the compare screen and are also put into the customer's report at the end. To add what is currently on the video screen to one of the thumbnail placeholders, press the green plus button. I'll now repeat the process of moving to the next key point in the running cycle and then again use a drawing or measuring tool to analyze the remaining phases for the left foot and then work for the right foot. However, for brevity, you'll notice I've sped this part up. Now I need to analyze the second shoe. To change the shoe being analyzed, just click on the current shoe button and after a couple of seconds, the next video clip will open and is ready for analysis. Again I'm analyzing each of the three key points in the running cycle for the left and the right feet and again for brevity, I've sped this process up slightly. One common question is what tools do I use and when do I use them? 
Because fitting is an art as well as a science, there's no definitive answer, and you'll find it differs between fitters, but you can contact us for more advice in this area. The next step is to compare your results and make a recommendation to the customer on the shoe that works best for them. You get to the compare area by pressing the compare tab on the left of the screen. You can now compare any foot in any shoe with any other foot in any other shoe. For example, drag the left foot of shoe A into the left space and the left foot of shoe B into the right space. Now click the foot contact, mid stance and toe off tabs to compare how the shoes are working for this customer at these key instances of the running cycle. Now I'll repeat this for the right foot. If you want to compare two videos side by side, you can do this as well by pressing the dual video tab and selecting your two shoes. Now you can synchronize these two videos and play them together. After your comparison, you should be able to recommend a shoe that works for that customer when they run, and you can indicate your choice by clicking the star rating located above each shoe. The last step is to give the customer a personalized report. You get to the report area by pressing the report tab on the left of the screen. Make sure you select the purchased box before you select the view button to view the report. The report will open in Adobe PDF format that you can then print and give to the customer or you can email it to them or just give them the file. The report has the images and any comments you have made and you can even add your own shop logo to the top of the report to replace the dialed emotion one shown in this example. If you have Microsoft Outlook or Outlook Express installed, pressing the email button will open that email application, load the report and the customer's email automatically for you. All you need to do is add some comments and send it off. To complete the session, you must click the Finish button and choose to save the customer. If you don't, your data will not be saved. So in summary, once you've installed and registered the software, using Dialed Emotion is a simple process of entering the customer's data, capturing videos of them running in different shoes, analyzing and comparing the results, and then making a recommendation to the customer. You can also give them a report of the results including pictures of their analysis, to take away with them, or you can save paper and email it to them. Be sure to visit the dialedinmotion.com website for more information, and if you haven't already done it, download a free trial version of the software. In the Dialed in Motion Support Center on the website, you'll find many helpful resources, not only on how to operate the software, but also best practice ideas for retail. That's it for now. Be sure to give your customers the best fit possible and the best customer experience possible by using Dialed Emotion products.